It's the moment a helmet camera captures a skier triggering an avalanche, sweeping him downhill in an out of control fury of white. The skier who does not want to be identified ends up under a foot of snow as two friends rush in to help. I'm here! I was about to get my beacon out to start searching and I saw a ski sticking out of the snow. And as I got closer, the ski actually wiggled a little bit. And that's how I knew where he was. That's my head! Those friends yeah. able to dig down and free him in less than a minute. Yeah. What you up, got you, buddy. You got you, you got you. Avalanches can happen anywhere. At Copper Mountain Resort in Colorado, Ski patrollers use explosives to trigger slides before they become threats. How much snow does it take to immobilize you? Nothing. Two or three inches could be really? enough. If someone is trapped, highly trained avalanche dogs can search for survivors. They show us how it works by burying me in a simulated avalanche. In a real avalanche, the uh, snow uh, basically it's like cement. It, it seals you in. It's nearly impossible to move even a finger. It's a claustrophobic few minutes. I can hear them barking up there. <laughs> but finally... Ah, hello! I'm saved! Right. These dogs can cover, you know, big areas, size of a football <laughs> field, in 20, 30 minutes. Hopefully you're giving off that strong scent for the dogs. That's right, carry around some bacon in your pockets. That's my best advice. 